Welcome to The Wine Chemist. In this series, we'll be breaking down the elements of wine, and in this episode, we'll be focusing on sugar. And I'll be drinking... Rosé. A lot of times, we say that the flavors, aromas, and subtleties of wine are subjective. But when it comes to sugar, we can't say that. It's an absolute. It's measurable. So let's focus on some key descriptors to help us define this. First up, dry. A dry wine is a wine that has no residual sugar. When grapes are harvested, they're full of sugar, and we take that sugary juice and we introduce it to yeast. And this is where the chemistry comes into play. The yeast eats the sugar and produces alcohol. The yeast keeps going until all of the sugar is consumed. This is called fermenting to dryness. If a winemaker does not ferment to dryness, he leaves residual sugar behind, and with that, resulting levels of sweetness. Dry does not mean oaky. Dry is not the opposite of fruity. The absolute opposite of dry is sweet, and everything in between is off dry or off sweet. Now, I want to give some clarity to the term fruity. Not because I've been called that in the past, but because it's a term that's often misused. With good reason. When we taste something that's fruity, our brain says, that's sweet. So when I taste fruity wine, my brain says, that's sweet wine. That's wrong. And now we need to fix that. Breaking this habit of connecting fruity and sweet is now your new homework. All of the other subjective descriptors like whether a wine is earthy or oaky or shows minerality or has a really full body, those are very different. Those are on a different axis altogether. We're talking about dry versus sweet. Dry has no sugar. Sweet does. That's it. Most wines won't tell you how much sugar they have in them or whether they're dry or sweet or off dry. They don't have to. But what they do have to do is tell you the percentage of alcohol within the bottle. Okay, so let's do some investigating. This rosé that I've been working on, let's take a look. 12.5%. That's a high alcohol. That's dry. And fruity, I might add. This is the reason I chose rosé to be the spotlight wine for this episode. Rosés may vary in sweetness. I've got another one here. So let's check the alcohol. 10%, so that falls into off dry or off sweet. Those two rosés look very similar, but taste extremely different when it comes to the amount of sugar. Some wine drinkers enjoy off dry, off sweet, and sweet wines. But what if you don't like off dry or sweet wines at all? The answer is simple, and the answer is spice which leads us directly into our food pairing section. One of the most challenging foods to pair with wine is always spice or heat. Anything with heat will always bring out the alcohol in the wine. If you're serving some five alarm chili, I do not recommend some high alcohol, big Napa cab. You will just taste alcohol. It is not going to be complimentary at all. Instead, what you want to do is try some of these wines that have residual sugar. Even if you don't enjoy sweeter or off dry wines, the spice in that food is going to block that sweet. You will not taste what is sweet. That wine will simply come across as fruity. So the next time you have a dinner party and you serve some spicy dish, just have some off dry wine in their glasses. They'll enjoy the wine, they'll enjoy the food, and inevitably complement both. <laughs> Several white varietals are known to have residual sugars based on the winemaker's decisions. It's always important to check the back of the labels and use our little trick that we learned. It's time to wrap up this segment. We learned the definition of dry. And we learned that the opposite of dry is sweet. We also learned where this comes from, residual sugar. We also have a new skill so that we can find a dry rosé, an off dry Chenin Blanc, or a sweet Riesling by looking at the back of the bottle 
finding the percentage of alcohol and remembering the higher the alcohol, the drier the wine. Finally, despite whether you love or hate sweet or off dry wines, we did learn that they do have a place and that place is with spicy food. Spicy food loves residual sugar and you should too. Thank you for watching. I look forward to all of your questions and comments. Until the next time on The Wine Chemist, here's to experimenting with wine. Cheers.